What's going on guys and on this episode we are going to be discussing the Ryobi toolkit. The one that I purchased, a viewer by the name of Mitchell has asked me a question and wanted to know a little bit about the toolkit and see if I used it. I did use the toolkit. Uh, I actually wrote down some notes to explain myself in a better way because usually when I go off on my head I go off on different I, I go off on different tangents and yeah it don't work out right so I organize myself and I'm gonna give you my opinion on this toolkit so let's get started okay so as you guys know this toolkit does come with an impact driver drill multi-tool circular saw reciprocating saw work light two batteries a charger and a travel case. Uh, travel case is actually pretty good. It's it's it it holds up and it's pretty durable. Um, but let's start off with the impact driver. Now the impact driver is strong. Does what I needed to do. Um, I love using it for small bolts and nuts. Uh, not extremely torquey, but it does get the job done. What I mean by not extremely torquey is that like if you have a nut or a bolt on there pretty pretty tight it's not gonna break it loose uh you're gonna you might need to break it loose with a ratchet first by hand and then use it all the way out um to install stuff it's it works pretty good uh it like i said it gets the job done it's for the price of this this toolkit it gets the job done it does what it needs to do i like it i use it um you know you ain't gonna break nothing with it, but it, it works. Um, now this is going off topic from Ryobi, but I do like the Milwaukee stuff. Milwaukee seems to be really powerful, like you just put that sucker on and it'll zap it off. Now I don't know about the Ryobi half inch impact. I know nothing about that. I can't talk about that, but this one is the impact driver itself. I mean it's it does what it needs to do. Uh, for the price, going into professional field, it can work. But you may need to get stronger, like bigger batteries. Because um, if you're trying to fight up with a bolt that's super tight, it's going to kill your battery real fast. And uh, you, you may need to break everything loose with a, nut, with a ratchet first. And then use the impact driver to pull it out. Most of the times the impact driver does remove stuff like little battery cables and connections and stuff. It'll remove perfectly fine. Um, water pump bolts, maybe it'll do it depending on how tight it is. Um, small things like that, not, not huge, huge stuff. Uh, the drill... The drill is perfect for around the house. Uh, mine did have a little burn smell to it, um, so I may have to return that. Uh, overall, pretty nifty drill. Magnetic bases are awesome. I love the magnetic bases on these drills, um, especially the impact driver and the drill. It comes in handy. Like You can store all your nuts, your bolts, whatever you're using on that drill. You're not going to lose it. It's magnetic. It's pretty strong, durable mag magnet. Uh, works really good. Uh, the multi-tool, I have not used that yet. I have not found a purpose for it as of yet. Um, circular saw, uh, I wish it did come with better blades, but it does get the job done. Now, I've used this when I was doing some wood projects around the house. Um, it, 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 it does the job. It gets the job done. It's pretty good. Like I said, get bigger batteries because you're going to burn through them suckers like nothing. Um... Next, we have the work light. Now, I'm not very fond of this work light. Um, it's okay. I do like the Ryobi bendy light. As you guys know, I did buy a, a bendy light. Um, that works great. I love that light. Um, but other than that, the uh, work light, it's it's all right. It's not nothing crazy, but it's okay. Uh, then you know it comes with two batteries. It comes with a 4.0 AH battery and a 1.5 AH battery. The 1.5 is like nothing. That'll burn through like that. The 4.0 holds up some charge, gives you a little bit of power for what you need to do. Um, but like I said, if you get a tough bolt or something with the impact driver, it's going to burn that up real quick. Uh, I recommend getting like the 6.0. 
um, the 6.0 and higher if there is higher I'm not sure but I know the 6.0 does the job pretty good um, but other than that you know wow this video ended really damn quick um, let's try to talk a little bit more about it if you have any questions just leave it in the comment section I'll make a response for you but Mitchell I do like the kit uh, for $199 it's actually on sale right now uh, it, it, it's pretty good. Plus, I got a free battery for it, another 4.0 AH or something like that. It, it's pretty good. For 199 bucks. it's not a bad deal. It's a steal of a deal. You get a whole bunch of tools. When you go to price these tools out separately, it comes up way more. I think the impact driver itself is $99, and then uh, the drill is $99. The circular saw is like $130. Um, the multi-tool is like $99, uh, so you're already way past the budget, of, um, so you might as well just buy the whole kit. Um, honestly, why I bought Ryobi, I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys, I just fell in love with the color. The color of the Ryobi scheme, I don't know what it is about it, I just really like the color. Uh, the fact that the tools do work pretty well is also great, it's a good bang for your buck. Um, the fact that I use, for someone like me who's going to use these things every day often, I don't know if they're going to hold up that well. Now, for YouTube videos or demonstration purposes or once in a way kind of things here and there around the house, yes, they will hold up phenomenal. But someone putting them to the test every day, beating on them, um, they're go it's they're going to wear out fast. They're basically like... They're basically like the affordable version of really high-end powerful tools. Um, I'm not trying to knock them. Like I said, I really like them. Heck, I'll buy a lot of Ryobi stuff. I really, really do like them. They're they're great. They have the power. Um, I'm sure there are some guys in the professional field that use them. And they probably have different opinions than I do. You know, it's everyone's opinion. Uh, maybe I got a bad batch of something. I mean... My drill should not be having a burn smell. Um, I'm sure that's just a bad batch that was made. And if I return it, I'll get another one that doesn't have a burn smell. Um, other than that, there's a, the, here's how I found out Ryobi, about Ryobi. One, I saw it in Home Depot, fell in love with the green color. Two, I watch a channel called Mighty Car Mods. Uh, love their show. And they are sponsored by Ryobi now before they weren't but now they are and they use a lot of ryobi stuff uh that's how i saw the bendy light for the first time on t on their show um i saw all the tools that they were using on their show and i fell in love with it and i wanted to give it a try and i don't regret giving it a try i really do like it they're cool now if i had to use a tool for the professional field like you guys know i'm not really big on snap on or matco and stuff they're too expensive for no damn reason um milwaukee is really the way to go for some reason milwaukee man they make their stuff amazing you can pull off any bolt nut screw whatever you want to take off it's coming off even uh lug nuts and stuff from cars trucks whatever you're dealing with they will come off milwaukee makes this amazing one inch impact gun that crap is powerful as hell um their half inch impacts are very powerful uh their drills are powerful impact drivers are powerful um their lights are great uh, Milwaukee does really good stuff, but this video is about Ryobi. Did you see what I'm talking about? I do go off on tangents a lot. Um, we'll stick to Ryobi, Ryan. Stick to Ryobi. Uh, so, back on Ryobi. Like I said, I like it. I think it'll be great for you. Um, it depends on what you're using it for. If it's in the professional field, yes, it'll work. Uh, get bigger batteries. Make sure you have multiple batteries so you can keep the charge. Um, the reciprocating saw. Did I even talk about that one? The reciprocating saw. Oh, I didn't. Um, it was great for cutting exhaust pipes. And just make sure you get bigger batteries. I don't know if I said that. The uh, I used it on some exhaust pipes. And they it works really good. Um, that's the only time I ever used it. I only used it once. Uh, but yeah... 
maybe I'll start showing some demo uses of it on the uh, Volkswagen build that I'm doing right now. But other than that, uh, Mitchell, I hope this answered your question. Um, and yeah, if you have any other question that you want to ask, just leave it in the comment section below. I'll make sure to answer it for you. If there's anything else you need to know, I'll make sure to answer it for you. Or if anyone else watching this video knows anything differently than I do, please leave it in the comment section below. Help your boy Mitchell out. Help me out. Let's all learn and grow together. Now, Mitchell, I know you had questions about the Home Depot people, um, how to get in contact with them, either email or phone. Uh, I all I see is really the phone. I googled it and I couldn't find anything for you. Apparently, I don't even know if they have an email. I'm sure they do, but I would recommend just going into the store and talking to one of the associates or calling. That's what I would recommend for you. Now, I don't know if you're trying to buy the product online or something. Just look it up on their Home Depot website and purchase it. Um, but you didn't really say what you needed their info for, but that's your business. Anyway, other than that, guys, I hope you have a great night. It is currently 2 o'clock in the morning, and I am filming this, editing it for you, and going to send it out for you, Mitchell, like I promised. I know I promised it for you today, well, yesterday, Tuesday. Um, change of plans. We're going to hit it on Wednesday for you. Usually, I would have these things released on a Thursday, but... I got you, man. I promised you. I didn't get... I didn't deliver your promise on time, so... I'm going to have to make up for it, suck it up, and do it today on the Wednesday. So anyway, Mitchell, hope you enjoyed that episode. Peace out. Make sure you stay safe. Keep away from these riots. Don't join any riots. And uh, we'll talk to you all later. Peace.